so much for watching. Today's video is a get ready with me. I'm wearing the most gorgeous eyeshadow, Calypso Blue number 05M from Natasha Denona. Really, really nice. If you want to see my full review and swatches, I'll link all of that in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video and let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my number five eyeshadow palette and go into 05M Calypso Blue and put this all over the lid. We're gonna take eyeshadow palette number three, which is also one of my favorites. With my MAC 217 brush, Steel Blue 11V, I'm going to lightly put this in the crease. I want this to be perfectly blended, really taking my time and blending it all out. Smoke 65V, this one's a little dusty but it's very pigmented, and I'm going to put this in the outer V area. These shadows really do blend very nicely. I'm going to take my Viseart Neutral Matte Palette with a clean brush. This one is my Dallium Tools 778. I'm going in with the lightest shade. Now I'm just going to put that underneath the brow bone. Clean everything up. Brighten that area. Now I'm going to prep my skin by using my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Then I'm going to use my Dr. Jart Pores No More Pore Filling Primer. Put that right in this area by my nose where my pores are large. Now I'm going to use my Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. One of my favorite products, the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in highlight number one. And with a big old fluffy brush, I'm going to throw that in there and put this everywhere. I'm going to do a serious contour today using my MAC Custom Contour Palette. Emphasize, put that underneath the eyes. Underneath the cheekbones, down the center, around the nose. I'm going to use shadowy. I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M. This is going to be kind of like in lieu of blush. I'm taking my favorite highlighter of the moment, ColourPop Monster. You've seen me use this in all my recent tutorials. And I'm just going to dab this in all the usual highlighting places. And personally, I like to drown myself in highlighter. But you don't have to do that. You can take a more subtle approach. Which is probably a better approach, but I like my highlighter. Okay, and then because I want to be like over the top with my contour and just my entire look, I'm going to go ahead and take Becca Pearl and Becca Moonstone because I'm just pulling out all my makeup and going for it. Right now we are highlighting our worries away because I want to glow from the high heavens. I want to look like a miracle just walked by. Like I'm here to save your babies and steal your man. Steel Blue, a teeny tiny BH Cosmetics pencil brush and put that on our lower lash line. I like assume my stance, which is like whenever I do my lower lash line, I have to make this mouth face. I'm going to blend that out with my fluffy brush. For my inner corner highlight, I'm really excited to use this shade, 04M Chromatic. Let's go ahead and do lashes 
and lips. Do you see that? Yeah. Somehow when I put on mascara, it just gets all over my face. Does that happen to you? I hope I'm not the only one. How? How? And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like all over. I use this teeny tiny stupid Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara so that I don't make a mess and nope, everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. We're just gonna let that sit for 30 seconds and then we'll wipe it off. My Milani Cole Kajal Eyeliner. Oh, by the way, I used the fanciest lashes I have ever used. And these are the Velour Fluff and Wispies. I used that for the first time ever and they are gorgeous. Do you like them? I don't know if I trimmed them right. They're kind of sitting a little funny in the inner corner there. It's probably dry now. Or not. Let me just rub that off and then go in with a tiny bit of concealer. Maybe not so tiny. It's a little more than tiny. Just try and mask that up again. Spray my face with first MAC Fix Plus. Makeup finishing spray to try and make my makeup last all day. I actually kept my mouth closed this time. That was good. Let's use my go to lip liner, my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. My Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Angela's. I'm going to do that finger trick to make sure I don't get it on my teeth. Okay, now once that dries, I'm going to go over my lips with my new Marc Jacobs lip gloss in the shade Moon Glow, number 314. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and press that subscribe button and I will catch you in my next one. Bye. Oh, I've got something in my hair.